Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I have had a busy, busy, busy one. We got back on the Dan Salio show and uh, talking some smack and everything else, and Dan actually giving the Cowboys a little praise, so that was kind of weird. But be that as it may, as we said earlier, Today, we were surprised, but it sounds like uh, Jake Ferguson, it's not anywhere near as bad as everybody thought. And uh, we heard that he was back at practice today. And I tell you what, don't take my word for it. Let's listen to Jake Ferguson, who um, you, you just got to love him. You have to love Jake Ferguson. Great guy. He, he's just, his demeanor is incredible. He seems like a fun person to hang out with and stuff. Um, but let's listen to the tape. I was told that, and I kind of was like, oh, my God, kind of hit me. A couple tears, and then went through a bunch of stuff, looked at it, did a couple more tests, and they're like, it's not ACL. Thankfully, just a little bone bruise and, um, you know, MCL. But I think, you know, you got the grades. I don't even think it's a grade one. Um, but, yeah. What made him say ACL, just yeah. the way it looked? The way it looked, um, I did hear a pop, and I think that, I mean, that's the first time I've ever had anything pop. And just kind of talking to them and having all the specialists we have, all the guys, with their knowledge, they were kind of like, you know, hey, we're worried about it, the way it looked, um, looking back at the film. Um, thankfully, you know, man upstairs had a different plan. And just lucky to, you know, not have that happen. When you left the stadium, it seems as if you were like, it's not, not that bad, even before you had the MRI. Yeah. Um, I think my only thought was, you know, ACL. And if my ACL is good, I'm fine. Um, you know, there's some stuff you can play through. And um, I'm one of those guys who, you know, if I can play through it, I'm going to go. But at the same time, if I can't give this team my best and I can't live up to the standard and play at that standard that we hold, then there's no point of me, you know hurting this team in that sense. What makes that call? Is it you that says I can't be at 100% or are you going to let the, let the trainer do that? I think it's a mix of them, yeah. you know. Um, if I go out there and I'm working with, you know, the trainers on stuff and it doesn't feel right or, you know, I can't do one thing or the other that is going to lead to me not being able to do my job, then, you know, it's going to probably be a no-go. But if it's, you know, all, if, it's, if it's all good and I'm feeling great, then I'm not going to be the one who, you know, pulls back. How important is it to be there every week? I, it's, I mean, to be in here no matter what, playing or not playing, it's important to be in this Amen. in this facility. It's important to go to the meetings, learn, because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know um, when might be your day, when might not be your day. So um, preparation is key. And, um, you know, if we do get into that scenario where, you know, I am gone, I'm, I've prepared all week like I am playing. Um, so I think, it, like I said, yeah, preparation is, is, is huge. Jake, week two, if it's a close call, you know, how do you balance the long game aspect of it with this specific situation? Is it one of those situations where maybe you just don't want to risk it with something that could be more long term? I think, um, yeah, you could see, you could say that. I think um, if it was really, you know, one big question mark, um, then it's kind of a, that question comes up, but you know, if my body, I know my body, so if it's feeling really good and I'm like, okay, I can do everything and I've gotten the reps into where, hey, I can do this in a game and I can do my job in the game, then I'm going to go. You love the game, you know, you know, you've shown that throughout the year. When you go through something like that now, does it just give you a fresh perspective of like, man, I almost was getting ready to be potentially done for the season and it's back? I mean, I, yeah, but I've, I've known that from the jump. This game isn't loyal. Um, it's never going to be loyal to you. You can give this game your all, and it can still hurt you and bite you in the butt. Um, and so I, I, I try to come in here every day. As each day is a blessing, you know. Each day I get to come in here and do this. Um, someone wishes they were in my spot, and you know, God giving me that that uh, you know that blessing of having not a season-ending injury. I got to come in here and you know take every uh, take every day by the horns, and you know appreciate every day. What did you say your pain level was like? Zero. Mm -hmm. What was that on Sunday? Zero pain. <laughs> uh, immediate pain, probably like a ten. Yeah, now that hurt. Uh, I tried to walk off, and I don't know what I was doing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's a weird one. It's something I've never had. Where you know, it is a feeling I do get when it starts to fatigue, and but initial, there isn't much. Um, 
just a little instability in that kind of starts to raise some questions because you don't want to have one thing give out and have a lead to another. So just want to make sure everything's stable and that I can do my job. Is getting brand, like, I don't need any help today, like, wait, I well, yeah, I, well, I told them to get off of me because I wanted to get off the field. And then I was like, I can cut, I can cut. And he goes, if you cut right now, I'm going to, yeah, not good. And I think just part of me, you know, felt that I could, but then also part of me wanted to know. Um, you know, if I cut and my leg goes down and I touch grass, it's probably not a good thing. <laughs> no, um, not at all. So it was kind it's of just more a little damage. bit of both on that one, but yeah. What's, yeah. The, what's the rest of the week look like as far as like threshold you'll want to hit, you know, to make that decision if you will play? Yeah, I think it's, it's, the question is, you know, day by day, how am I feeling each day? Um, I think if I come in and it's, you know, not getting any better or it's too slow or it's, not where I want to be, where I can't do my job, like I've said, um, then I'm not going to go. And uh, if I can't do my job, then that hurts this team. And I know that the guys in our room, they can do that job. Um, they're healthy right now. And I have all the faith in them that if I don't go, they're going to get the job done. And I think on the other side of things, if I can go, I'm going to go. Um, you know, this is the National Football League. This is the game of football. There are going to be some nicks. There's going to be some problems. Um, but sometimes you just got to play through it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. That, is, that is incredible news, uh, listening to Jake Ferguson. And, and he's realistic, too, because, you know, when you're a football player, you're young, you, you are, you know, you're a warrior, okay? You literally, if I'm not in a hospital bed, you're ready to rock and roll. Now, sometimes what has to happen, though, is you have to protect, you, protect them from themselves. And sometimes, you know, we feel like, Coach, I can go, I can go, I can go. And you're going, but you're not really, and you might not really need to go. And knowing Jake Ferguson, he is a gym rat. He's a guy who wants to be out there and doesn't want to miss any time. So, you know, hopefully, maybe he's a quick healer. Maybe it wasn't that bad. Um, the thing about knees, and I know from my own personal experience, because I tore my ACL um, in high school, and coming back from uh, surgery from it, literally, this was crazy. It, this is unheard of these days. But I tore my ACL the last scrimmage before the regular season started, the week before the season opener. I was back, and I only missed four games. I had my surgery. And two and a half weeks later, I was actually playing, which was crazy, without an ACL. They just took the ACL. I know people won't believe me, but it's the truth. Because at that time, the scope was just getting there. But the thing that happens is, when your knee jolts, it's scary as hell. And you'll get a shock of pain and stuff. And, and when you've had that kind of an injury, then you're worried every time. Is it okay? You know, and, and that's where I think Terrence Steele last year coming back, you're constantly in your mind. Is this thing ready to go? Um, you know, can I let it rip? You know, do I trust it? And you favor it. When you favor it, that's actually when you get hurt worse. So hopefully this is a situation where he'll be able to let it rip without it actually ripping. So we'll see where it goes with that. But that's definitely great news with Jake Ferguson because, you know, when we were watching that on the field, you're thinking this might be an ACL. He may be done for the season. But so far, great news. All right, you good people. I uh, got some more work I'm going to do here around the Red Brick House. And I'll be back for tomorrow.